Welcome to my channel. Before I do anything else, I have to remember to show you my shirt. I forgot yesterday. So here it is. It says it's okay if you disagree with me. And I can't read the rest. What you say? I can't force you to be right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have lots of shirts like this. Lots of goofy shirts. Anyway, I wanted to make sure I remembered that before I did anything else. So now, I want to thank you for coming to my channel. And I want to tell you that this is today's episode of Daily News Clips. <laughs> oh, The first article that I have is, does France face a civil war? I didn't highlight anything in this. It's a fairly lengthy article, and I thought you might be interested in reading it. Uh, apparently, uh, Macron thinks it is, but some other people disagree. I'm wondering what my French followers think. Are you on the precipice of a civil war in France? I'm, I'm having trouble believing that's true. But apparently... Uh, just like in America, the two sides are getting more and more polarized in France between the what they call the conservative right and what they call the liberal left. What I've explained many times in my uh, daily news clips, I don't I believe is a false dichotomy. I believe that all governments are on a continuum that reaches from anarchy on one side to uh, tyranny on the other and every government in the world fits somewhere in that continuum either more towards the side of tyranny or more towards the side of anarchy and I believe the best government is the government that tends toward anarchy but maintains enough order that people can live peaceably so that's just my opinion other people will disagree with me I'm sure then this second article that I found, I really wonder about this. I, I'm having trouble believing this is true, but uh, can pollution save the planet? That's certainly a contrarian view on pollution. I think pollution is bad for the planet, so I don't see how it could possibly save the planet, but this guy is arguing that uh, it will because it keeps temperatures down. <laughs> well, whatever. Uh, I'll put that one in the uh, description of my video, and so you can read it yourself if you're interested. I'm not going to read any of it. This third article is an interesting one. If you're not familiar with uh, the recent uh, ruling by the... Uh, Supreme Court, basically, uh, they had a case before them that had to do with the government's use of uh, third-party uh, um, NGOs and academics to enforce a censorship regime on the American people. And it went all the way to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme, Supreme Court basically punted. They said, you don't have standing to sue which I think is kind of ridiculous. And so does Robert F. Kennedy, uh, Robert J. Kennedy Jr. Uh, but uh, Justice Alito wrote this article where he argues that Americans will regret the court's allowance of blatantly, blatantly unconstitutional censorship. And again, I haven't marked anything on this. I thought you, if you're interested, you'll read it yourself and get the gist of it. But basically what he's saying is they had a good case and they should have listened to the arguments, but they chose to punt instead. I don't know why the Supreme Court does that because surely they know it's going to come back. It's going to come back again when Robert uh, Kennedy's case comes before them. So... Uh, I don't know. 
I don't understand the workings of the court sometimes. I don't think anybody does. And finally, I have this article. Pyongyang says it will send troops to Ukraine within a month. Oh, boy, am I excited. Yeah. Ah, now we're going to get an escalation. Oh, man, I'm telling you. This is not good, to put it mildly. Not good. Um... Uh, Last week, Vladimir Putin made an official state visit to the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. North Korea has his first for almost a quarter of a century. As part of that visit, <clears throat> Putin and Kim Jong-un signed a so-called defense pact in the North Korean capital on June 19th. The military treaty states, in the event that any one of the two sides is put in a state of war by an armed invasion from an individual state or several states, the other side shall provide military and other assistance with all means in its possession without delay. In response to that, Pyongyang announced early this week that it will be sending troops in the form of military engineering unit to support Russian forces on the ground in the Donetsk region. The troops are expected to arrive on the battlefield as soon as next month. Oh boy. The DPRK has already supplied almost 2 million rounds of artillery ammunition, rockets for Russian multiple launch rockets, multiple launch rocket systems, and it is alleged ballistic missiles to support Putin's forces since the two leaders met in Russia in September. Uh, yeah, the active participation of North Korean combat troops raises the specter of escalation to the conflict, especially as com commentators think it will not go well for Pyongyang sappers on the battlefield. <sighs> you know, wouldn't it be nice if we could just have no war for a while, just stop fighting? But I guess that's too much to ask. I don't know. It's just... Um, what a world we live in, huh? Well, at least I pray for you every day that God will bless your life and shower you with His grace, His mercy, His love, His joy, and especially His peace. I pray for the same thing for every person that you love. This is the Vietnam Era Vet out.